Welcome to Cat Tutorials and in this video, I'll be doing question 19 from 1.4 exercises in James Stewart Calculus. So, we are asked to find the domain of each of these functions. So let's start with A. So by the looks of it, A can use any x value, but we also have to ensure that we don't have division by zero. So we don't want the bottom part to be zero. So that's the only restriction which we're going to have here. So you're going to have negative e, all of that should not equal negative one, divide both sides by a negative, negative one. Then we'll have this on both sides. Okay, so e to the minus, two to the power uh, one minus x squared should not equal e to the zero. So the bases are the same. Remember that anything to the power zero is one. So we just made the bases the same so that we can equate the exponents. So one minus x squared should not equal zero. In other words, one minus x, one plus x, this is a difference of squares, should not equal zero. And that tells you that x can be anything as long as x is not one or x is not minus one. So that would be the domain of the first one. It can use any x value in the world as long as the x is not 1 or minus 1, because these x values will not give us division by 0. Now, coming to B, in B, we can basically say the same. We can use any x value in the world, but once again, we do not want division by 0. So, let's see what we have. At the bottom, we have e to the power cosine of x. But what do we know about cosine of x? It has y values between minus 1 and one included, right? So these are all the values that cosine can take. Doesn't matter what you substitute in place of x, this will always lead to a y value in between minus one and one. So e at most can be e to the power minus one, and this is the, I guess, the least, and at most it can be e to the power one, and everything in between, it should be fine. And then that, should ensure, or this makes sure that you don't have division by zero. There's nothing here from cosine which would make e zero. So then the domain of this function is indeed all the x values, because you can substitute any x value into cosine, it will always give you an answer, which is in between minus one and one included. And when you have e to the power any of those, even the ones in between, that will not give you a zero. So you can substitute any x value in the world into this function, and that would be the domain of the function.